reason for this is that shifting cultivation is actually a form of organic farming where uh, a diversity of crops are grown in a plot of land and then the plot of land is rested for several years allowing the forest to regenerate before it is cultivated again so the deforestation is never permanent in contrast oil palm is a permanent form of deforestation and it replaces it with a monoculture it's a single species crop uh oil palm is a heavy water demanding crop and uh, mizoram state uh, large parts of it uh, have extensive uh, you know an extended dry period and people depend on streams for water and today what you see is that some of these streams uh, are actually being diverted into small water tanks and uh, through subsidies which are provided for it uh, to irrigate the oil palm crop Hello, I'm Paul Juan. I'm the Paul Juan of Noel Maya. I'm speaking about Juan Nite, Old Pam Juan Nite, Juan of Noel Maya. So Old Pam Paul Hi, he's a pun guy. I'm a lot of hello. I'm a collection center. I'm a little. I'm the one on the box. I'm the one who are ring Maya. I'm the one who's the one who's ring. See, this needs a dialogue with the farmers and with the people from that region. Uh, you know, they should have a voice in this, rather than me saying that this crop is appropriate or that crop is appropriate. It's something that should come through a dialogue with them. A farmer in certain districts can only sell to a particular company. It's not really sold in the open market. So economically, also, it is not. Uh, uh planning out right now and most of the farmers have gone in only because of the initial subsidies and cash uh, 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 that was given and it is uh, it is affecting the system you know community land is shifting to private ownership which is uh, you know uh, not known in the uh, region uh, in, in this form earlier there has been very very little thought of sustainability if at all one were to do this up front now uh, you know uh, there is some research that suggests that one would actually avoid areas such as northeast india and andaman nicobar for oil palm these are not the areas where you should be expanding there could be opportunities in other parts of india uh, in marginal uh, in lands which are either under other oil seed crops or which are under other marginally productive lands where oil palm can actually be established and produce without having these severe biodiversity impacts 